Well, hello out in YouTube land. I've been working away at my electronics bench, and I thought it was time to stop and make a video about another topic. Today's topic is about a medication called Lamotrigine, pronounced Lamotrigine in some countries. And in the United States, it's marketed as Lamictal. It's a commonly used drug. I've used it with hundreds, maybe even thousands of patients at this point in my career. Um, and like all drugs, it has uh, kind of good points and bad points. But I want to talk a little bit about what the drug's used for, kind of what to look out for, and um, uh, you know some some concerns that can arise, and, and to put some of that in context. So if that interests you, then uh, keep watching, and if not, then you can go back to your uh, video on YouTube of uh, kittens playing with yarn. So, Marble, are you ready to help me shoot this video on Lamotrigine? You ready? Let's go! Anytime now. Okay. So, uh, Lamotrigine started uh, life, if you will, as a seizure drug, and it's used pretty commonly as a seizure medication now, but it, as many seizure drugs uh, have have seen this happen. Uh, uh, it has kind of branched into other areas. It's used for uh, depression, you know, particularly in people who have bipolar disease. It's used in some people sort of just to kind of help regulate a little bit of the emotional up and down. Uh, there's some evidence, uh, actually decent evidence, that it can help reduce pain in people with certain kinds of peripheral neuropathy. So we see the drug used in more and more individuals who do not have seizures. So let's talk a little bit about about side effects of Lamotrigine. Uh, you know any drug if you if you take enough of it gives you side effects and that's true of Lamotrigine. It's not particularly bad in terms of how often people get side effects and and such uh, but you know it's, your mileage may differ. The side effects of Lamotrigine I kind of categorize in two general buckets. Uh, one is the, the bucket of, of uh, side effects that any seizure medication can give you. Uh, yes, some are worse than others or better than others, true, but any seizure medication can cause uh, what I call the drunk, tired, and stupid uh, feeling kind of like you're not processing well, you're tired, uh, you're off balance, uh, things aren't coordinated well, that kind of thing. If you take enough of any seizure medication, you're probably going to get that. Um, the, the side effects of Lamotrigine, which are a little bit more specific to Lamotrigine, include, but are not limited to, um, an increase in headache. Uh, there are, sometimes I've had to take patients off of uh, Lamictal because of the headache. Uh, by no means does everybody get this. It's actually a, a relatively small minority. Uh, other things which are sort of specific to Lamictal include a rash. Yes, you can get a rash with any drug. I, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, Lamictal, like all the other medications out there, can cause sort of the general itchy red rash that, that you would see if you were allergic to um, an antibiotic or something like that. But there's a little bit higher chance of having a severe rash on Lamotrigine. This is called Stevens-Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrolysis. Uh, these, this is a, a, these are really variations on a rather severe rash. And this is a rash that would often include uh, things in the mouth. Um, it, it, it's, not a, um, it's not like, oh, I got a little rash on my elbow kind of thing. You can get tremor. You can see upset stomach, which is fairly uncommon, really. Um, you can see uh, a change in coordination. Another thing which is a little bit, maybe a little bit more specific to Lamotrigine, not entirely, is uh, double vision. Double vision, we don't see a lot of that happening, but occasionally uh, someone will, will notice that. It's particularly an issue when high doses are taken all at once. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that we split the medicine a lot into morning and evening. Mm. 
every medication has what we kind of refer to as its half-life, which is the amount of time that it takes for half of the medication to wash out of your system or be cleared out of your system. And it takes about generally about five half-lives uh, at, a, at a given dose to kind of get a steady state level of the medication. So uh, we tend to dose medications at about the half-life of the medicine or a little shorter to avoid too much up and down in the drug levels. The half-life of lamotrigine is around a day. It's around 24, 26, 28 hours. It depends a little bit on the person, of course. Uh, which means that in some cases it can be taken once a day. Uh, the tendency to get double vision is one of the reasons that the dosing uh, early on in the studies was split into twice a day. Typically we do dose it twice a day. That's a little bit more frequent than once a day, although I have a reasonable number of patients that just take it once a day as well. Part of that depends on how much does the person need. If somebody needs two or three or four hundred milligrams of lamotrigine per day, it's really kind of a lot to be taking all of that just all at once if you don't have to. If you can split it into two doses, generally it's better tolerated. When I start someone on lamotrigine, I will tell them about the common side effects and the uncommon side effects as best we can. And I will also tell them that every now and then you'll see a change in mood. And if somebody feels like their thinking has gotten different or their mood has gotten worse or they certainly if they have any kind of suicidal thinking then we need to hear right away and probably look for a different medication. It's a reasonable thing to think about whether the medication might hurt you when you're starting on a new medicine. That's true of every medicine. I must say in the world of seizure medications Lamotrigine actually tends to be one of the better tolerated of the seizure medications. So while we worry about tired and headache and, and um, changes in mood and thinking, uh, uh, tremors or whatever someone might have, we worry about all that and that's, that's important to worry about. That's, those are really not super common, particularly at standard doses. And I can hear my phone ringing somewhere. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but I don't know here, it I'll, I'll just, it's upstairs. upstairs yeah. Do you want me to stop this? No. Yeah. <laughs> <Better stop. laughs> we have to talk about the serious or terrible side effects of drugs when we prescribe them. That's, uh, I think that's reasonable. But remember, those are relatively uncommon. Frankly, most of my patients on Lamictal do quite well, and most of the time when there are side effects, they are fairly minor and we can manage them. Everyone's mileage may vary a little bit, but I don't want people to go away with the idea that this is somehow a terrible drug. We have found that the rate of developing a significant rash is much lower if you start the Lamotrigine at a small dose and slowly go up. So very commonly we might start at a, a small dose and only go up uh, every week or so till we finally get to a, uh, a decent dose. And that's a good thing, but that's also a bad thing. If someone has developed seizures and things have really kind of gotten out of hand and we feel like we need to get the medication uh, built up in their system quite quickly, lamictal is not the best drug. You just, you just can't always safely jack it up very quickly. Uh, and of course, on the other end, when if you've been on Lamictal or almost any seizure drug, you don't want to go off of it suddenly. You want to taper it down a little bit by a little bit, just to be safe. Common doses of Lamotrigine would be in the range of, oh, 50 or 100 milligrams per day on the low end to 6, 7, occasionally 800 milligrams on the high end. Uh, those those would be kind of reasonable bookends for where most of my patients are. Yes, I have people who are lower. Yes, I have people who are higher because there's a, such a wide variety of people and metabolisms and problems. But common doses would be things in the range of 100 milligrams twice a day, um, 150 milligrams twice a day, uh, maybe 200 milligrams twice a day. 
Uh, but some of my patients who have, particularly those with, with uh, a generalized epilepsy syndrome, some of them respond to really very low doses of lamotrigine and might be taking uh, 100 milligrams once a day in the evening. And as with all seizure drugs, the big question is not how many milligrams, but is it controlling seizures? Are there unacceptable side effects? Okay. There are a couple of um, special things about lamotrigine and drug interactions and other conditions. Um, certain oral contraceptive medications can lower the amount of lamotrigine in the bloodstream, sometimes uh, maybe even cutting it down by 50%, which could be a problem. While we're on the topic of women's health, lamotrigine is actually one of the safest medications for a woman to be taking during pregnancy. You may be aware that there is a national database registry in the United States uh, to track pregnancy outcomes and that's really a source of excellent data and if you look at the data and I look at them regularly you'll see that lamotrigine has one of the lowest rates of possible problems in the developing baby. So that's a good thing. Thanks for watching. Tune in again and we'll try to cover more medications and neurology conditions. Uh, let's see. We done? Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah.